Ticatinib was recently FDA approved in combination with capecitabine and trastuzumab in patients with HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer uh, who had received prior trastuzumab based therapy, um, at least one prior line of therapy, and in patients with CNS um, metastases, although CNS metastases aren't required in order for patients to receive um, this therapy. This approval was based on the HER2 CLIMB study in which patients were randomly assigned to ticatinib, capecitabine, trastuzumab, or placebo, trastuzumab, capecitabine. And this study showed a very impressive improvement in not only progression-free survival in the overall population, but progression-free survival in the proportion of the population who had CNS metastases, which comprised close to 50% of the patients on this study. Importantly, it also demonstrated a significant improvement in overall survival in the intent to treat population and a um, numerically uh, increased objective response rate in the brain for patients with brain metastases. About 47% of patients had an intracranial response. The tolerability of this triplet was actually quite quite promising, quite good, just a slightly increased risk of grade three, four diarrhea, um, as well as hand foot syndrome. So this really did, uh, this study really did sort of um, uh, make the place for ticatinib-based therapy for patients with HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer, um, in particular in those who have a history of brain metastases active or previously treated and stable. The HER2 CLIMB-02 study is a clinical trial to look at whether or not tucatinib when added to TDM1 will improve outcomes for patients, um, primarily in the second line setting. And so <clears throat> this uh, clinical trial is enrolling patients with either unresectable locally advanced or metastatic HER2 positive breast cancer uh, who have had disease progression after trastuzumab and ataxane. Again, just like HER2 CLIMB-01, it is allowing patients who have brain metastases either stable previously treated or progressing brain mets or, or active brain metastases. Patients will be randomly assigned in a one-to-one -one randomization to tucatinib plus TDM1 or placebo plus TDM1, with the primary endpoints being progression-free survival by investigator assessment, and then key secondary endpoints, including overall survival and objective response rate. Uh, so this clinical trial is ongoing. Um, uh, hopefully, it will demonstrate and improvement in outcomes for patients uh, with ticatinib when added to TDM1, then solidifying the place of this therapy in the second line setting.